Hello friends, welcome to Dudier Academy. As acute diarrheal diseases are one of the leading cause of mortality in infants and young children, in many developing countries, 29th July is celebrated as ORS Day every year to highlight the importance of oral rehydration salts as a cost-effective method of health intervention. So in this video, I have included the topic Oral Rehydration Solution or ORS. Oral Rehydration Therapy is a type of fluid replacement used to prevent and treat dehydration, especially that due to diarrhea. It involves drinking water with modest amount of sugar and salts, specifically sodium and potassium. And ORT is credited with saving millions of lives worldwide. Diarrhea still continues to be a major cause of hospitalization and death in under 5 children. So ORS introduction has reduced the mortality significantly in cholera and other diarrheal diseases. With the help of oral rehydration therapy, the number of people killed by diarrheal diseases is reduced by 80% since 1980 and may it, it helps in lowering the mortality rate of diarrhea by as much as 93%. Oral rehydration therapy was developed in 1940s but it did not come into use until 1970s. The first clinical trials of ORT were conducted in Dhaka, Pakistan. In 1978, the Lancet termed ORS as potentially the most important medical advances of 20th century because the discovery that sodium transport and glucose transport are coupled in the small intestine so that glucose accelerates the absorption of solute and water and so it was considered as potentially the most important medical advances of 20th century. Harvard School's Richard Cash played a key role in those trials. And thus, July 29th is celebrated as World ORS Day. World Health Organization, WHO and UNICEF jointly have developed official guidelines for the manufacture of oral rehydration solution. And the constituents of ORS include it is a mixture of water, sugar and salt that is sodium chloride, potassium chloride, sodium citrate and glucose. So the WHO new ORS include the reduced osmolarity ORS which is expressed in grams per liter, sodium chloride 2.6, glucose and hydrous 13.5 potassium chloride 1.5 trisodium citrate dihydrate 2.9 so the total weight is 20.5 grams per liter that is a WHO new ORS and expressed in concentration a new reduced osmolarity ORS formulation is recommended by WHO and UNICEF and it is expressed in millimoles per liter that is sodium 75 Chloride 65, glucose and hydrous 75, potassium 20, citrate 10. So total osmolarity is 245. That is the reduced osmolarity ORS contains 75 milliequivalents per liter sodium, 75 millimoles per liter glucose, and the total osmolarity is 245 milliosmoles per liter. So while administering, replace the fluid slowly to the children. It has to be administered slowly to children and babies may be given ORS with a dropper or a syringe. Infants under 2 may be given a teaspoon of ORS fluid every 1 or 2 minutes. Older children and adults should take frequent sips from a cup with a recommended intake of 200 to 400 ml of solution after every loose movement. Then how to make ORS at home? So in order to make ORS at home, take 1 liter of boiled cooled water and add 6 level teaspoons of sugar. Then add half teaspoon salt 
and then stir the mixture till the sugar dissolves so this is a way of making ors at home then can the ors solution be stored yes the ors solution should be covered and it should not be kept for more than 24 hours due to the risk of bacterial contamination so it can be stored up to 24 hours after that there is chance of uh, bacterial contamination so it has to be discarded if the person vomits the caretaker should wait 5 to 10 minutes and then resume giving ors So that, that's all regarding the oral rehydration therapy and the constituents of oral rehydration solution. So thank you. Thank you for watching the video.